Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Welcome back to my Warfarin GTA San Andreas 100% and this part we'll be starting the first set of San Fierro missions starting with Wear Flowers in Your Hair Motherfucker! That mute asshole! That fucking snake without a tongue! Gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip? I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man. But I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of them. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name. And for once, I try to make something work this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something, and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit, but the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Okay. Let's get in the car. Hey, man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th year of love in, apparently. Apparently? You know how it is, man. A field of tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Tanang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Hey, Jethro! Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude! Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No, the government is, but that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> so far gone, man. Okay, so we now gonna go to the hospital, so we'll just drive there. So this is this mission is basically getting to know San Fierro more and all that. Like what that has to offer and that, but even though we went to San Fierro during the side mission stream anyway, even though I got used to the area. So uh even though. But if you fish if it's your first time in San Fierro, this will give you a little hint. Whoa. Oh god. Whoa! He was about to open the door as well, that cop guy. <laughs> he was about to open the door. Oh well, what other than that then? Oh god. Here we are. What we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. 
Okay, I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, okay. dude, what's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. Oh well. Okay, so we gotta go and pick up Dwayne at the hot, hot dog business. Here we are. Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got like some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You lost your mind. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay, but you're starting to freak me out with all that space shit, man. Right. Okay. So we gotta go to the police station. And then I think there's one more drop off we need to go to, unless I'm wrong. But we'll find out though. As we do this. Oh, good. Here we are. Whoa. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. <sighs> Oh well, but other than that, oh, we uh, gotta go and pick up this zero guy then. Be my so yeah. There we are. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. What's up? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A, tip-top genius. Okay, we here. A week of hard work? And we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot, property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. 
Okay, mission complete. Right, we should get a phone call, so let's wait for that. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Okay, that was the one of the reasons, so we're gonna go and buy the uh, Zero's uh, shop, so which is just down the road from the garage, so let's go see how much it is, and, and we'll buy it. 30 grand, let's buy it. There we go. And now we should get another phone call along with it, so let's wait for another phone call. And there's the phone call. Hello? Carl, it's Zero. Oh, hi, Z. You wasn't around when I signed the deeds. Yes, I know. I was on a dangerous reconnaissance mission. Deep into enemy territory. Uh, yeah, right, sure. Whatever you say. I should come through and have a look at the business, you know? Oh, of course, of course. I'll have to tidy up a bit. This place is such a mess. Don't worry about it. I'll drop in soon. Okay, so now we're going to do all the Zero missions. Since there's only three of them, let's start with the first one, Air Raid. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dosage. Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I once beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked this bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> no. And they say gangbangers is petty as small-minded. Hey, what's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity! All batteries commence fire. He's going for my transmitters. If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. CJ, okay. bogey's at 12 o'clock. All right, so what we got to do then is just... Destroy the planes until the time runs out. Great kid, don't get cocky. All right, we'll see if we can do this without. RC Barons at nine o'clock high, Carl. Nice. All right. Now see, with that with that line group, you'll have to destroy all of that. Okay, see that. There we go. My handling's a bit terrible though, but <laughs> I can definitely do it. So we got just gotta do this. All you can do is need to shoot the bomb out of it and then that's it. You don't have to fully like destroy it, all you gotta do is just shoot the bomb out of the uh, little toy plane and then you're done. Alright, this mission used to be hard back in the day. You know. Zero's missions are quite a bit tricky when it comes to this stuff. God, come on. <laughs> okay, it's great point. Nice. 
So I'm just mainly trying to focus on this mission because God, my handling's really terrible. Just the minigun shakes like so much. Right, but we got a minute left to survive. Whilst there's so many signals on there. seconds left. Right. And then there's another one. Shot your bomb out. Usually they'll try to like as well, what is it? Oh, that was a bad. Bad handling bomb. Nearly done. And we're about to be done. Nice. <laughs> Berkeley! As long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Two little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Okay, let's go into the next mission. Nope, don't want to do that. We cancel, cancel the phone call. There we go. Don't want to do that. Right, next one. Supply lines. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> then nip some pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now. Where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28 year old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow! <clears throat> my crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. <laughs> well, with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. Launch the Red Baron. Right, so it's that button to shoot, so we've got to kill one, two, three, four, five targets. Don't let him get away! Punish him for his war crimes! One down, four to go! Okay, just turn around. The next one is a bit nearby, so we give him the fuel bar, so we got to watch out for that. So it's L, obviously it's L1 to fire guns, so... Okay, so next one is nearby. So this is probably the hardest mission I would say so far from a lot of people. So this one is coming from this angle. So I've got a line. Oh, bu 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 bu. What stupid toy plane! <laughs> Come on, move, move. Two of them left and right. I think there's one in the van and there's gonna be one on the bikes, so. So I'm gonna try not to get close because 
a few shots we'll have this killed, so... So, we'll just do that. Even a gun on this thing. On that, on that toy plane. Also, you do get a cyber ship after this, but uh, it's not really required for 100%. But even though I'll, I'll go through some loose ends anyway, so... At some point in the game, maybe. Like, non-100% stuff. Or something like that, but... Other than that. Alright. I think these ones are on bikes, if I'm correct. Oh, where are these guys? There's one there, there's one there. Okay. Makes sense. Just gotta watch the fuel bar, though. Because if that fuel bar goes down, then it's mission fail. probably get there in time anyway. Even though it's a slow plane, but uh, we'll definitely get back there in no time. Okay, so... Yeah, it's really hard though to fly this thing though, but... The final mission isn't that bad though. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show an easy way to do it though. And then, uh... I'll, then I will probably speed up that mission because it'll... It gets annoying with the same talk and it's really just that simple, so, yeah. But even though. Okay. Alright, yeah, we got enough fuel to get back anyway. One more then. New model army. What's happening, Zero? I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. Already own it. What's wrong with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. <laughs> a butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death. Come hither! Behold! No man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. 
I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! Right, so we've got seven minutes for this, so the easy way to do this is you want to go down with the magnet, press circle to pick up the item, and you press it again to drop it. So what I do first is I pick up the bomb, and I destroy the tanks first. Car, that helicopter isn't much of it. Use the goblin to move that barrel. Shut up. So yeah, that helicopter is an issue, so you want to destroy all the tanks. There we go. And then what you want to do is just make two bridges, and that's all you do. And and all you do then is just that's simple. Carl, I'm blocked. Yeah, he'll keep saying that every time he's blocked or something. Why is you go on about a bow all the time? Okay. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Okay, just one more tank. And then I'll make two bridges, and then I'll move your bowels out of the way. Move it! Carl, Berkeley's blocked me again. Alright. I'll make sure you're not blocked. <laughs> I wanna show to people how you would actually do this. Curse mission. you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel! <laughs> move that barrel. <coughs> Alright, this where's this Carl, final tank? Move then? that obstruction. Alright, it is. Carl, I'm blocked! Nice. Okay, so all I do now is just make two bridges. And then I'll move these barrels out of the way. I'll probably speed it up because um, it There's will take forever. Cursed barrel in the way. So yeah, I'll speed it up once I get everything sorted. That helicopter isn't going to be much of a deal. Moving, Carl. Berkeley's blocked me again. Curse you, Berkeley! Carl, move that barrel. Okay, now let's go and get another bridge. And then Carl, we'll move, move the barrels. Okay. Y you only need two bridges anyway, Carl, so. I'm blocked. So it's all good. Okay, final bridge. There's another cursed barrel in the way. Okay. Now we can uh, move the barrels out the way. Berkeley, you, sir, are a loser. Leave the field of battle in shame, pack up your crummy mail-order business, and get out of my town! Carl, you are all a duelist like me could want in a second. Sir, I salute you. Thank you. That's it completed. And now we'll get five grand. So we'll collect that regularly, of course. There we go, mission complete. So that then, I'm going to end it off here. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to be continuing the CJ missions. So without the way, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.